All right, if you loved Saturday, you're going to love Sunday. Absolutely beautiful weather on the way. We're going to see a mix of sun and clouds, but that really should be about the extent of it. Temperatures coming up, and we're going to see above average temperatures all next week for the most part. A couple chances for rain, and then we're talking trending, or we're trending, I should say, colder as we get into next weekend. This is not quite time to plant yet, right? Not quite time, and I'll explain why here in just a moment. All right, so morning lows, uh, starting off Sunday morning with the 40s and 50s, but it's gonna rapidly warm. I mean, it's gonna be a great day for some brunch, some patio weather. We're gonna see those temperatures by lunchtime into the low 70s. Future cast, uh, we're gonna see a mix of sun and clouds. So mostly clear to get the day started, but then the clouds will kind of creep on into the area. You got a weak little disturbance in the atmosphere. That's gonna head our way. Not gonna do a whole lot, except bring us some cloud coverage, and that should be about the extent of it. If we were to get anything at all, maybe a sprinkle, but the atmosphere is pretty dry in the low levels, and I just don't think we have enough moisture to work with. But look at your three-day forecast, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, high temps right there into the low 80s. Chances for rain, yeah, start to creep up a little bit Wednesday, Thursday, maybe a little bit more so on into our Friday as our next little weather maker moves its way on in. Ridge of high pressure is the dominating weather feature for the next couple of days. That's what's gonna give us the warmer temperatures and the dry weather conditions. This little low pressure system is gonna be swinging its way through into the upper Midwest. That's gonna draw in just a little bit more moisture on Wednesday. That's gonna be our Wednesday storm system. Then it moves its way up to Canada. It's gonna reinforce some colder air to move its way on down. And so we have the potential for seeing some colder air moving its way through next weekend. So we'll keep you posted on that. That's uh, something to keep in mind. When I show you your seven day temperature trend, you'll see what I'm talking about. So high pressure is the name of the game and that's uh, at the surface anyways down across the Gulf Coast states. There's our little uh, Sunday, Monday system that's gonna bring us a few clouds, but rain showers mainly stay to our north. We're gonna be dry Monday, Tuesday, Tuesday, Wednesday, little bit of light rain, Wednesday, Thursday timeframe, maybe at about a quarter to half an inch of rainfall. And then we'll be talking about another storm system as we get into say, from, uh, probably Friday timeframe that potentially Actually, could bring us some stronger thunderstorms and maybe some heavier rain right now. It doesn't look like it's going to pan out to a ton, but this is from the Weather Prediction Center, so we'll see how this all plays out over time. But as I mentioned, temperatures will be trending on the colder side. So Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, hey, we're going to be in the 80s. Friday, 70s, not bad. Uh-oh. Saturday, we're going to be in the 50s and maybe some 40s across the Cumberland Plateau in the mountains. So we'll see how this plays out. And morning lows on Saturday and maybe next Sunday could be trending in the 30s. So something to keep in mind and keep us all in check. Our average last frost for most locations around East Tennessee is about April 4th to April 16th. Okay, obviously we're already to April uh, in the middle of April but that's an average and a 30 year average. So we still could see some frost and freezing conditions and we're now into the growing season. All right, so download the East Tennessee Weather app. Stay on top of the weather situation for us here in East Tennessee. If you travel for your job, it travels with you as well. It's an amazing interactive radar. Now, of course, we're not going to need that for the next couple of days. Great current conditions, seven-day forecast, all populated by yours truly. The only access, I should say, to the only 24-hour weather channel here in East Tennessee uh, and a wealth of weather information. And it goes wherever you go, as I mentioned. So just go to the Google Play Store and the App Store and search East Tennessee weather. Look for the orange TN and the white lightning bolt. We'll see us soon. Have a great night.